Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Quick unboxing, which has not happened for quite a while. I haven't had many unboxings really because I haven't been buying anything. As you can see, I'm looking scruffy as shit as well. I've actually got cold sores all over my lips now. I'm just a little bit run down, trying to get back into shift work and not sleeping quite as well as I normally would, but I'll get there eventually. But in the meantime, I'm going to have to rock this horrible thing until I can chop it all off. I did have the beard, which is now gone because it was too itchy. This isn't too bad at the moment. I am smashing it with this stuff, which you guys will probably tell me is utter shit, but it does help soften it up a little bit. So, unboxing, here we go. I'm actually looking forward to this. This was a gift from my wife for graduating from my current job from the train. So, I'll just whip that open. Now, the postage cost on this was phenomenal. Came all the way from Canada. I'm quite excited about it. And there's the little card that comes with it. Thank you so much for your supporting a small business. Two thumbs up for you, Chris. Carve Shaving Co. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys know what's in here now because there is only one razor that is made by this company. Now, it comes reasonably well packaged. That's the cardboard box that comes in and then you've got some sort of black, sort of firm tissue paper. Okay, so the box that comes in, now, you've got to really bear in mind that this is a hundred Canadian dollars. So it's like a hundred Australian dollars. I don't know what that is in American, about 80 American or something like that. So that's the package it comes in. So uh, just your box, standard little cardboard box. The Christopher Bradley Dual Edge Safety Razor from Carve Shaving, made in Canada. Now these are hand machined, I believe, in Canada, 100% made in Canada. Oh, that's pretty cool. At least you've got, it's very similar. It's a cheaper version of the Timeless Razor. So you've got all your slots there all down the side for your caps or your base plates so you can adjust the, the settings of it. Now this is 100% brass. I wasn't sure whether the handle was going to be hollow. It's definitely not hollow. And it might need a bit of a polish. I'm not 100% sure if that's supposed to be on there. The top cap does look quite dirty. It's got a lovely weight to it. It's definitely heavy. I've got the shorter handle. I think it's three and a half inch, this handle. There's not much of it. It's quite short, which I like. All lines up really well. I'm just going to wipe that. Just see if that rubs off. I'm not sure what that is, if I'm honest. Yeah, it looks like it's rubbing off. It looks like a fingerprint that was on top. And during transit, the oil's from the fingerprint. Yeah, it's coming off a little bit. Yeah, we'll see how we go. The whole idea behind the brass razor anyway is that you let it to, I love it to patina. So let's see what the threads are like. Silky smooth. It's got a very long thread. The thread hole is spot on central, which is great. As you can see at the bottom there, Carve Shaving Company made in Canada. Now, just up on this corner here, you can see the C. So this is the C plate. It is very, very well machined. Now they've got tooling marks under here. You can probably see the, well you might not be able to, it's like little rings running all over. But it actually looks really nice, it really fits in with the razor. But in terms of the top cap and the top of there, it's very smooth and very well machined. Yeah, I'm really impressed with that, just give me a second. I'm just going to pop a blade in. Uh, it would be a little bit silly of me to not use a Gillette Nasset in it the first time, as that is my go-to number one razor blade. 
So a brand new packet of Gillette Nasset, as you can see there. Pop it onto the top cap and let's see what it fits like. Yes. There's absolutely zero wiggle room. So once that blade's on there, it's going to sit there, it won't actually move anywhere. So I can only imagine what that means is that the blade, so I'll just screw the handle on. It's very, very smooth screw onto the handle. You can hear that little crunch there. And that is absolutely spot on level. Now I've never owned a brass razor before. This looks stunning, it really does. The knurling on the handle, I hope you can see that. It's absolutely spot on, the handle feels great. Now it's very short, I wasn't expecting it to be sounds daft, I should really have measured it on a mission. I wasn't expecting it to be that short, but I love short handled razors. My Merca 34C, which I no longer have, was one of my favourite little handles, and this reminds me of it. So my finger just sits nicely in there, and then it just, for that length of your fingers, sits lovely like that. And that's generally how I shave with these short handled ones. It's a lot of weight in it. It's beautifully machined. I mean, it's almost perfectly machined. I can't actually see anything, any flaws on it at all. Yeah, I might actually have to send them a message though, because I'm not... I'm not too happy with that top cap like that. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what that is. I don't know whether you probably can't see it. There's some markings on the top of the top cap. Now I did read someone's blog, I think it was, saying that the, the top cap was the same. Now one thing I've noticed with this, the overhang is quite extensive. I don't know whether you guys can see, just on here. It does overhang quite a lot. So that's definitely something I'm going to have to be wary of. The C plate, I think, was 0.74 gap. So, in terms of aggression or efficiency, I had the 0.95 timeless, and it was beautifully smooth and lovely to shave with, but just ever so slightly too aggressive for me for everyday shaving. That's the reason why I picked the C plate. Now, I've heard great things about the B plate as well, and he's also brought out an E and an F plate. So given that this is the C, the E and F must be extremely efficient and aggressive. I'm not sure what the weight is in this. I'm really impressed with the weight. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Carve Razor. Machined in Canada. And it, it's a beautiful little razor. Yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with it, and I can't wait to give it a bash. I most likely have to shave today now. Not this, but shave around about it. So there'll most likely be a video go up today as well. I'm quite excited about this one. Anyway, you guys, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.